YouTube, Taisuke here and today we have a ROM review for the Galaxy Note GT N7000. Today the ROM to be reviewed is Note S4 ROM. Yes, you heard it. S4 Note ROM. What this means is that what this means is that it has icons from the S4 and other cool uh, stuff from the S4. So, but before I do a detailed review i would like to say that this rom is based on the xxlt6 rom sorry it's based on xxlt6 which means that um you can expect to have great performance on this rom and it also has kernel uh the kernel by coh crime of hearts kernel uh hello world for those who wants who those who want to just install the kernel links in description will be in below and uh, this kernel only works for 4.1.2 touchwiz ROMs, it won't work for uh, Jelly Bean, uh, sorry, it won't work for uh, AOSP ROM. So, this ROM is a performance ROM, which means that games on this is amazingly smooth. Minion Rush does not lag at all, Most Wanted does not lag as much, NFL, Slam Bars, Dungeon Hunter 3 is extremely smooth, and um, this also means that the battery life isn't as great as many other ROMs, but for the performance of this ROM, battery life can be um, sacrificed so as you saw I was quickly transitioning from one uh, home screens and uh, the water ripple effect was extremely smooth you can you, as you can see you got your S4 icons so what makes this ROM different of course off the bat you can see the apps uh, icons the video player icon has been changed but what makes it truly different is that it has uh, customizable toggles and um, you won't get the fancy toggles that is available in no uh, in the official ROM you'll get it you will you will get uh, toggles such as this and all of this is customizable uh, if I were to go to toggle button as you can see here you can have you have many varieties of options you can put you can either put lock screen you want to, you want to enable a lock screen reboot action and shutdown action if I were to pull it down it instantaneously updates as you can see here and um, just to prove it to you, I on the spot changed it and boom, it's not there anymore. And you also get button modes such as brightness button. You can either change it from two, you want to make it three options whenever you uh, press the, the brightness. You got your sound modes to show whether you want it to have sound plus vibrate. Then you, you press one more time, it'll be vibrate only and uh, highly customizable you can even customize the placing of the toggle so let's see if i want mobile data to be uh so you want i want mobile data to be first instead of wi-fi i straight change down i mean i i pull it up and it it, it on the spot changes to um data being first if i were to pull it down as you can see wi-fi on the spot changes and high on change i enable it Let's say if I want to um, toggle flashlight, it on the spots. Uh, once I clicked it once, it'll go up again. So yeah, extremely customizable. And um, also one more thing that the settings is white. As you can see, it's fully white. It has that S4 feeling to it. And um, also, as I said, this ROM is uh, performance is amazing. So you can expect to have extremely good performance as you can see here as you can see here android version 4.1.2 baseband xxlt3 and you got your crime of hearts kernel in this awesome rom so that's it guys i finished reviewing this rom uh, if you want to have a more detailed rom i can um more detailed review i can open a few apps and uh, test it out if you guys really want um as you can see here it's extremely fast opening camera it's extremely fast but because I'm charging my uh, phone it says low battery if I open the whatsapp which is quite uh, slow on some devices as you can see it's extremely fast I open um, need for speed most wanted click it one more time as you can see the transitioning from straight to um, landscape mode is extremely fast and um yeah 
if you guys want me to uh, do any other type of ROM for me to review any other type of uh, games or applications please put it uh, please comment and don't forget to like and subscribe it really helps me a lot and um, yeah as you can see the transitioning from the um, from the fire monkey uh, logo to the most wanted is extremely fast also uh, when you play a few of the missions you will get the need for speed most wanted wallpaper you might have seen it um, in my previous video so yeah but well, I'll install it later just want to show you the um, performance of this awesome ROM so I have to buy this class hmm. ah, never mind lah I will just change um, do one of the races that I've done recently as you can, um, as you can see the spinning here the spinning uh, loading screen uh, is extremely smooth it doesn't uh, it's not sluggish um, it might start a bit but um, it's extremely fast as you can see at the opening screen you don't have much lag and uh, this uh, this kernel overclocks the the our Mali 400 MP and uh, for those who don't know MP stands for multi processing that means this is four cores so it should run games without any problems as you can see here it's extremely smooth some drifting and uh, let's let's try to um, create some effects as you can see Weaving from right to left is extremely smooth. As you can see, when I um, some sparks as I crash to the 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 my opponent, and um, even though I received an extremely crazy accident just now, it didn't lag whatsoever. So this ROM to me is an extremely good ROM for gaming. So yeah, guys, that's all. And oh yeah, one more thing. Even if you have two games on the uh, notification, you um, it will still run extremely smooth, no problems whatsoever, and yeah. So guys, this concludes my ROM review for this week. If you need anything, you want any tips, please comment and below. Uh, make a, if you want to have a detailed um, um, a question, you can either do a video response or you can comment. And don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want me to review anything, please tell it below. And yeah, peace out, yo.